it's Tuesday morning right after sunset. So I'm going to show you that they give you the day. You've got to get away with it. It wasn't anything at all yesterday. Some gray slime right there. But same humidity, but they're back. See there. Stay right there. Well, as I said, it's back. Gray slime's here. There's two. Sorry. Two persistent contrails out there. Time to come outside. Totally. Oh look, that one gets cut off right there. Yeah. I mean, is that dense enough? And it's just cut off right there, like that one. See, that goes all that way. Right next to it, that one's just a burst right there and then cut off. Look how much slime's coming in. Over there, it's already three. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop for a minute. It's starting to get uh, hot. The contrast is really dropping, but I'm going to show it's around noon. There have been over a hundred so far. See the, how they crisscross in here? You can't even count how many there, there really are. Only the, 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 the recent ones are, are still visible as trails. See how much there is. It's really quite mind-bending today. Now I'm going to put it on reversal and continue because it's much better contrast.
Okay, I, I wanted to end that there, uh, so you can see that it's all the same type of clouds. But this is an exceptionally good example of of jet cirrus, and why I would zero in on this after having seen thirty thousand examples of it. I'm not sure, but it's very quite good, really. This is jet cirrus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on negative two. Uh, actually, see, it's it's all jet cirrus <laughs> all the way. Actually, let me show you 360 degrees, all right? Because it's it's 360 degrees of it. Excuse my fumbling there. Just, I don't want to take it off the tripod. Everywhere. It's up there. It's over there. It's up there. It's very gooey and gauzy right there. You can barely see any differentiation in that at all. But of course there is. See. And those are the persistent contrails that are growing into this crud. All of that same. Okay. It's perfectly natural and harmless. I love that. It's harmless. That's a good thing about it's harmless. I like that. And that lets you see it. It's structure a little different. Con higher contrast. And here's a perfect example. I think we've seen enough of that now. The show's kind of over, except there's a persistent contrail up there, right? For false here, and there's one right in it. There's a jet right there, and since that's a supposedly high enough humidity to allow formation of ice crystals being forced into reprecipitation by jet, by water vapor from the jet engines coming into the region that causes that, like seed crystalling and bringing all this out. How come that isn't doing it? It's exactly at the altitude. All right, and it's right in it. See, all that white stuff is is uh, Jet Cirrus at his altitude. And look here, just gonna let you really appreciate what happens to him after time. It's nice, isn't it? There's another one there. It's all over the place. Yeah, ooh, somebody's making one right there. That's it, right there. <laughs> but the other one didn't. It's Hollywood magic, folks. It's Hollywood magic. Another good shot of Jet Cirrus. We have a News chopper hovering some pretty fur piece off. Is it news or somebody else? Look, I think it's a news chopper. One of the for rent one. And there's Southwestern who was doing, uh, you know, part of the major jet persistent contrail thing earlier. This is dissipating. There. But it's not doing it, man. I think I'll close out this part by showing you, see, look at that nice spectrum right there. I mean, it's because it's ultra fine, uniform water droplets for altitude. Those are the 30,000 foot jet cirrus. That was about 10 minutes later, right? Those jets right in it, and it just didn't have their contrails dissipated in, right in the midst of this. Now let me ask you, did that trail that I showed you, did it grow or not? Look at it. <laughs> it's hyper aggressive. It, it's unbelievable. It's always incredible. And yet the other, the jets that made that, right, it was jets. That's a jet contrail. A persistent contrail that's growing according to NASA and the Air Force and is attracting the, 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 the ice crystals are, are causing highly set the highly saturated high humidity air up there which of course it is not to the, uh, the frozen uh, to, to come back out and immediately recrystal uh, to crystallize into ice crystals that's the phenomenon that's how jet cirrus is naturally made and that's what they're saying is happening here but we just saw jets go right through it numerous ones right in exactly in this altitude it didn't do anything. There's dissipated while well, this stuff's growing all around it. Sorry. Sorry.
Okay, now you see what it is and what it does. <laughs>